And we're really honored to have here Mr. Taylor Rogers, who was an activist in Memphis at the time when Martin Luther King was killed. And soon thereafter, I think 1972, he became president of Ask Me Local 1733, and for 20 years lived at that, that, that union successfully. So Mr. Rogers, Rogers, thanks for coming, and please take your thing. <clears throat> I'd like to thank SEIU for inviting me here. So I'll just give you a little brief story of what happened back in 1968 that caused Dr. King to come to Memphis. 1,300 sanitation workers said that we were tired, wasn't going to take no more. And we walked out of the job. Uh, we didn't have no union, we didn't have nothing. We just walked out on our own. Uh, then the black community came together, the ministers in Memphis came together, and we finally got, uh, Bill Ross got us in touch with asked me, and Bill Lucy and Jerry Worth, the late Jerry Worth came in, and he helped us move on. So the name of the game was we were just tired, we had took so much that we just had to stand up and be men. And that's what we told him at all. He said it was illegal to strike, and if you don't go back to work, you're fired. We said we're not going back to work, we're going to stay here and stand up and be men. Our main thing was we wanted some dignity. We wanted better working conditions, and by our main concern was being dig have dignity and be like treated like men. Uh, we had to work 40 hours a week and be eligible for welfare. So I had a family, I had eight kids to raise and educate, so you know, I had to do something. I called them together and told them that, you know, uh, what y'all think? He said, well, Daddy, you know, you ain't doing no good no way, so you may as well go on out. So that's what we did. We went out and we stood up. And Dr. King came to Memphis to help move our movement. Men had got kind of weary because we marched every day for six to eight days. And the men had got kind of weary. Some of them had started going back in. But when Dr. King come in, he motivated us. And the men out, they went out and come back in. And that's when we moved on. And after Dr. King's death, we got our recognition. And we moved from 1,300 sanitation workers to 7,000 members in over 1733. And as you said, in 1972, I was elected president, and every three years we had an election, I was president for 20 years. So I hope I gave you a little in insight on what happened back then, and thank you very much.